Hey dear Leo, type in your four ones and take a beautiful deep breath in. Raise your vibration. Deep, deep, deep. You're challenging your human. Kissing your higher self and release. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to channel Leo's spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Leo, I feel like you come into December with that there was a... a culmination, a release, and what you were hoping for, hoping to achieve in your career life. I feel like you just really know you had to make some changes to what your dreams really were and what your what your goal is, what it is that you want to do for a living. What is it that, how do you want to bring an income in? And I feel like some of you just realize, you know what, I need a career change. This is great, it's comfortable, it's stable, and I just need a change. I feel like some of you are just like, it's not stable, and I need a change. I feel like that is it. The change is in the air. And this month, you are so blessed by starting fresh in your love life. There's true love here. There is a, a definite fresh new start in something playful it's in your own energy it's what you really want to do and by the middle of the month I feel like you're gonna figure out what that is the end of the month this is you know an opening in your spiritual in your spiritual health this is also being able to release that baggage of staying too long in a relationship and certainly in a, a job as well as a skill an industry Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You got options. And I think that's what you're really tapping into now. So follow the signs. Um, I do feel like this has already happened with many of you. And you've got to take those blinders off. And you've got to notice the signs. And it's scary to notice those signs. You know, but Spirit is saying, just cleanse yourself. Let me wash you thoroughly. So that you can you can start fresh. Because this is a beautiful month for you, Leo. Kings and queens to start fresh. Start over. To really change the trajectory. Thank you so much. All is not lost at all. This is a great month of change. Which is really, really good. So you're going to be releasing a lot of the fear by the end of the month. It's the emotional baggage. Woo! It is the, those suitcases in the closet. It's those demons that you've been carrying on your back, right? And so Spirit's saying that, hey, what do you need to do instead of self-sabotaging yourself? What do you need to let go of and what have I been showing you? You're not their savior, I'm hearing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're not, you have the right to live your life. I feel like some of you, your kids are grown. You have the right to live your life on your terms. And I feel like some of you are realizing the relationship you're in is just not the one that you thought it was going to be. And I think that I feel like many of you realize it wasn't divinely ordained. That's a tough pill to swallow, but I, I feel so strongly that many of you are looking like, what was I thinking? We all make mistakes like that. So, you know, be kind to yourself. Be kind to the other person. And, uh, you know, instead of denying... I don't feel that. Instead of denying um, where you're at with that person. Yeah, it's coming to a head. That's for sure. And in your love life and in your career. So this is a great time to just start fresh. 
because it's you're on it. The, remember, the fortune really does favor the brave here. But you got to release. You're at the end of that cycle, so you can jump back into the past or you can go on forward and really receive. But your spiritual guidance is showing you the signs. I feel like some of you see the exit and it's very difficult for you to take it. But you've got to cleanse yourself from the negativity that you're around. I feel like the job has become toxic. I feel like there's some things that have happened that go against your values. And I feel like, you know, you don't, some of you definitely don't want to go back into the same industry that you were working in. I feel like, you know, it's time for you to create this beautiful path in your calling, your purpose, but you're just really afraid to do it. So we're going to ask a little bit more about that because Leo, this is a blessed new beginning on steroids for you to do what you want to do, working with the environment, working with children, being um, in sports, the health industry, something that really speaks to you because you know you care about your physical um, body, your human, your health. And just that romantic energy that you really do desire in your love life, it's here. So um, at the end of the month, really want you to release from that baggage because you have that out. You can take that leap of faith or you can feed fear. We want you to feed faith, okay? Instead of sabotaging yourself and not releasing what spirit wants you to release from and who spirit wants you to release from. It just may be for some of you that you are needing to just focus on you right now instead of focusing on your partner so much. Let them live their life. You focus on what you need to do. You know, I feel like there's, there's just so many messages coming in to me that there's so many messages coming into you too. Compromises here. Learn each other because you've changed and so have they. But for my single Leos out there, there's a love connection happening and it's romantically true love. It's definite true love, okay? So this is someone coming in from the past, a past life, your past current life. But this is certainly something that's meant to last. So keep on calling in that energy. Learn the lessons before this happens so you don't repeat it. Remember that sabotaging energy is here. We don't want you to repeat those mistakes. So remember, uh, release from the pattern that has kept you unhappy or the pattern you've adapted to, which really wasn't yours. I feel like some of you settled. Um, certainly compromise, but that's not settling. Change your perspective and just know that every battle doesn't even need to be fought. It certainly won't be won. So just see their point of view. Let them live their life. Let them stay in their lane and let them be happy with who they are. But can you be happy with who they are? Can they be happy with you? So... I feel like that answer is blaringly in your heart and soul. And it just is really difficult for you to accept it. But I feel like this, the signs are definitely there. Repeatedly. So some of you are meeting new people. There's definitely true love on this solar eclipse. And your beautiful energy is right there on this new beginning. In uh, such a blessed alignment. I mean, it's your fellow fiery energy. Did I say fiery? <laughs> it's in your it's in your sister or brother fire sign, Sag. And Leo, it's in your own energy. That's what's so beautiful about it. You should be feeling so doggone confident around mid-month. And if you're not... Come back with Divine Source, commune with the Most High, and please ask for your spiritual guidance to show up because synchronistically it's coming. But don't be afraid to ask those questions. Let them ask questions. Don't hold back. 
because there's a win-win in here. I know you're afraid to ask certain questions. You're afraid to really go and be vulnerable because deep inside, you're like a soft little kitten. But you've got to, you've got to purge that fear. You've got to purge it. Purge it. You've got to show up for who you are. And I know that you don't want to hurt other people either. But I feel like this is such a healthy selfishness energy this month from last month. You know, last month, I feel like you definitely saw where your hopes, wishes, and dreams were more so yours and not the other person or not your entire families or you really had some that was totally different, totally separate from your clan. Okay, and you were just like, how am I going to do this? Like, I want to move across the, the whole world. I want to move, move on the other side of the world. And I got a new grandbaby. I got kids. I got, you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this while I'm co-parenting? How do I do this? So there's some things happening in what you aspire to keep dreaming and I'm gonna tell you something that might be like what I'm hearing dream bigger because I don't feel like you're giving your all to it out of fear thank you so much thank you so much just a lot of stress there so spirit is telling you hey take care of you what do you need it's time for you to have some special care and attention can you take care of you right now? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like most of you are really going to face the fire and have that conversation. And I feel like most of you are going to definitely release who and what needs to be released at the end of the day and I feel like it's gonna be at the end of the month I feel like it could just really be a tough month for many of you if you continue to ignore the signs and just feed fear like it's 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 a matter of you deciding thank you so much thank you so much what's most important for you Thank you so much. And if you have children, what's most important for them that are dependent on you, okay? Or grandbabies, anyone that's dependent on you. But at the end of the day, it is truly your choice. And I feel like you're going to walk away from what has been keeping you feeling like you can't move. Like you can't go forward in the direction that you want to go in. Leo, you are sitting on a gold mine. Literally. I feel like you just, you, you're at a crossroads. In your love life, in your work life, in your whole life, I feel like many of you are just at a crossroads that you really need to have more structure. You really need to have um, just peace of mind, stability. Um, I feel like there is a commitment is definitely on the table. Are you committed to the job? Are you... Um, but I just feel like you got, you made, you made up your mind. I don't feel like you really are 100% about it. And I, and I really just feel, feel like it's feeding fear more than anything. I feel like the, you know, the, the decision has been made. 
I feel like there's you're not committed to a lot. You're not. It's it, you're apathetic. You're like, well, I can stay. You know, I can stay. It's I can do the work. I can. You know, it's comfortable. I've got my retirement coming, or I've got my uh, pension, or um, you know, I I just I've got longevity. I've got some years in the company. You know, I've been doing this same thing all my life. I can do the work. I'm skilled at it, whether you went to school for it or not. It's the history. But I don't feel like you really want to do it. It's boring. It's mundane. And I feel like you're, and I feel like that's how you're feeling in your love life, too. That a lot of you are like, I'm so sick of this. Look for ways that you can just add passion and spontaneity and excitement to your life because it certainly is there. I feel like you've got this beautiful um, Ten of Cups energy here that is can be turned around through a conversation because both of them are in reverse. I mean, if you turn these around like this, right? But they're like this. So that's a lot of apathy and, uh, you know, blocked intimacy. Like it's not, you know, nothing's going on in the house behind closed doors and you're not speaking to each other. I feel like there's also a cross in values. You know, align yourself with your truth. Learn each other. Remember? Remember, if you're single, what is your truth? You know, it. you're definitely aligned with a, a straight do-over this month. I mean, manifest absolutely whatever it is you want. Because I think, you know, the crossroads were there. The conflict has happened. Um, the quarrels, the arguments, family, friends, co-workers, yourself. But it's stopping you from having that true love that, that, that's right there. I mean, it sure enough is here this month. Treat others with the respect that they deserve, of course. But I just feel like, you know, don't blame them for your fear of stepping forward. Like, it, there's a lot of mental overload here. There's a lot of that... Uh, I don't know what I should do, but I feel like you know what you should do. So don't go, don't give in to the rash decision, Leo, about making the wrong choice and sabotaging yourself. Follow the signs that Spirit is telling you, hey, I got you. You know, detox fast. Stop bringing toxic products into your home. Remember that. And get more plant-based, for real, because your energy has to really change and it's going to be blessed by you taking a stronger focus in what's healthiest for you but slow your roll uh, make some sense in what's going on because boom the idea that you've got the fact that you're like I need something different I need money that's going to make me happy I need to do something that's going to make me happy I need a, a lot more than I'm making I need to, I mean it's good but it's not the best and it could be better so just know that with this ace of pentacles that is I've got this material and this stability this stable, secure um, foundation that I can mold into something I can definitely uh, make it happen but you can eliminate the negativity. There's a lot of a need for uh, mental stability here. You've got the energy to make it happen. You own it. You can just step forward, feed faith. Um, you know, there's a strong fear that you're going to jump back into rough waters. But, you know, because you really want that stability. You want some structure there. But don't forget to look in, you know, follow your mind's eye uh, because you found a strategy already. So don't go back to the past saying, well, you know, we were arguing. I, I can't stand it. And all of that, um, can't stand them. And complaining about it because that dilemma is t 
tough, but it's costing you time and energy and it's wearing away at relationships here. So just remember, remember that you don't have to be right, right? You've got a strategy here. What is it? And for some of you, there's a reconciliation happening. There, that is going to take away the drama, the apathy, the, oh my gosh, I can't stand them anymore. You know, the arguing with each other and all of that. That's going to take it. But some of you that are single, what do you need to release from? Having to be right? What is it? You're holding on to a lot of emotional baggage. Someone's wa someone wants to come in. Okay? Um, that mental health, the uh, need to be emotionally strong is definitely here. Um, and I feel like you've got this. I mean, there's, 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 there's anxiety. There's there is just doubtfulness. And I feel like it's because you really had this crossroads. You, you dealt with some strong setbacks. But remember what Spirit said, Leo. The end is, is here. You know, the tough cycle is done. So let it be done. Be around supportive people for sure. No need to be anxious. Your moment of weakness is it's going to pass. It's right, boom, it's going to pass. At the end of the month, have that cry. You know, there is a definitely release in the closet and um, of who really is your enemy, who is your friend, and the fear, what those demons look like. What are they? What is it that you need to release? Who is it? Um, and... Yeah, you just, you are seeking, I feel, to really fall back in love with life. Not even just life, but just your, yeah, your entire life. And to just feel like you're appreciated. Just to feel like this is it. This is the job that I want. This is the, the business that I want. But dwelling can cause unnecessary um, apathy, uh, just sadness and it could be destructive i just feel like you know everything was all good in the beginning but then things fell apart at the job in your love life and i think you're feeling it all the way around it's just don't get caught up in the past memories of it because i feel like that's so thick and heavy oh my gosh so spirit is like, listen, let me cleanse you. Let me wash you. So detox. You know, detox. Fast. You might just want to do uh, some plants. You know, if you're not vegetarian, you might want to just do it for the weekend or see, you know, see how it goes with a more plant-based diet. Certainly, you know, I'm absolutely big on the natural products we use um in our home the plant-based products because they're affordable and they are just easy shipped right to your door so just do certain things like that where you're not adding on to the stress that's already showing up here and i mean i, I know this is not gonna be for everybody but um just watch out for it because it certainly is here um the emotional, charming, true love is totally here. So just remember this. You're going to win. Come out on top. You're not going to sabotage yourself. You're not going to sabotage that win-win. You're going to pay attention to your spiritual guidance. And you're going to reach out to me so that I can share with you what I do to and what we've done to stay totally blessed and stable and secure with amazing health in this pandemic. And um, anything else that I can help you with, click the links down below and you're going to be okay, Leo.